Jesus asks, Are you willing to put down your flesh and the ways of the world? July 29, 2019 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Thank you, Jesus, for your unfailing patience with me. Forgive me for trying to act from the flesh. Please help me to live by your Spirit alone. Amen. Jesus began, I have listened very carefully to the thoughts of your heart, Claire, and the words of your mouth, and I see the struggle you are having with yourself concerning those who have sided with the enemy and made your life so difficult. I have also guided you very precisely through the songs I chose on your playlist. For those of you who don't know this yet, we have a playlist of songs that we put on random and pray the Holy Spirit will choose the songs that communicate what God wants to communicate to us. So He chooses the songs. The first song was Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where my help comes. My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber or sleep. The sun will not harm you by day, the moon will not harm you by night. Then Psalm 91 I will not allow your enemies to overcome you, and I will watch over your coming in and going out, now and forevermore. And I want to tell you, the road going into the refuge is treacherous. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's going to be like when it's wet and slippery, but there are a few places that are very, very dangerous, so I'm claiming this. I will watch over your coming in and your going out, now and forevermore. We need that from the Lord. Zechariah 4.6 Not by might, not by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. And here I am, sitting and trying to figure out ways to make this happen. So the gates will be taken away. And the Lord is saying, not through your intelligence, my dear, not through what you think or what you want to try to do, but rather by my power and by my spirit will this be accomplished. Yes, Lord, I hear you. I'm sorry. Boy, I've been in the flesh. And Truly True has a beautiful song. I need your touch today. And I was feeling that acutely. And she has another song. Faith like a child. And that's just another reminder. Faith like a child. A child doesn't question like us grown-ups do. And the last song that he played was Just As I Am by Eden Spritch. It affirms the Lord's unconditional love and that he's waiting for us and receives us in the mess we're in. Yes, I've been in a mess and I needed to hear that. Just as you are, I receive you. Jesus continued, Claire, all these songs were meant to bring your thinking into alignment with mine. I don't like to see you chasing rabbit trails or wasting time. You have wasted a great deal of time thinking the way the world thinks and resisting hard feelings against them. It is true, this family on the mountain needs prayer, very badly. And you offering up this terrible injustice for their salvation has much more weight and power to it than you can understand at this time. My children, do not get entangled in the world's fights. 
come to me and ask how I want to handle an unjust situation. You may find yourself cooperating with me to save the souls of those who practice injustice. You see, not many will pray for them. Rather, they will turn away and have nothing to do with them. But you must go after the lost, not caring how they harm you. I send you into these situations to pray for them, no matter if you don't see conversion right on the spot. It may happen only on their deathbeds. What matters to me is that you loved me so much, you are willing to forgive and pray for them. This, my children, is a great proof of your love for mankind and for me, who died for them. I do not ask you to have warm, fuzzy feelings, just to forgive and pray the good for them. This is when you become co-redeemers with me and share in my sufferings on this earth, and so you will share in my resurrected glory, even as it is written, not just live with me, but be resurrected even as I have been and live with me in glory in heaven. The more fully you share in my sufferings, the greater your glory in heaven. But I say this, knowing full well, this is not a heart dweller's motive. Children, the enemy will do all in his power to turn your hearts dark by impure motives. He knows well, blessed are the pure, for they shall see God. And if they see God, they will also hear Him and respond in obedience. But the first step to this is a pure heart. Your heart is not pure if you are thinking and plotting the downfall of others while praying to me. I am not interested in fulfilling that prayer unless it is part of their salvation. But this is a selfish motive, and that is not pure, done purely for me. So you lose ground in hearing from me and seeing me. This is Satan's goal, because you cannot be used well if you cannot hear me and obey. If your heart is not pure, at least you can pray, Lord, make me willing to be made willing. I want you to look upon your foes as children who have lost their way in the dark wood. They sought their own advantage over and over again as a way of life. They modeled that to their children, who followed their example. And pretty soon you have a whole generation, a family of 40 or 50, who were raised this way. They were taught to fight and grow steal and do the deeds of darkness, to have what they wanted. They are lawless, with a conscience that has long ago lost the distinction between right and wrong. So I sent my bride to pray for them. This is my bride, who I am wed to. And these are my children. These are our children that we have had together. And I send my bride to pray for them, lest they all perish in hell. And they treat my bride with contempt, thinking no one will see. But I do see. I hear the pleading and tears of those who have been done injustice. And I arise, not with fire in my eyes, but love, because these are foolish and lost souls, and I long to bring them back into the fold before it is too late. You see, when you take my side, you must think as I think. You must do what I do. Then you become righteous and bring glory to my name. Oh, there is so much you need to learn and conquer in yourselves. And this is the time and place to set out on conquering your fleshly nature and put on the garment of light and righteousness, and live not for yourself, but for me and your brother. 
So I extend this invitation to you all, my brides. Be willing to be made willing to put down your flesh and the ways of the world. This is the time and season I'm extending that grace to each of you who will take it to heart. I love you so tenderly. Fill up on me and you will learn the ways of love more quickly because it will be pouring out of you and you will have much less resistance to deal with from your self-will nature. I love you. I'm with you. We will help you conquer yourself and bring glory to my name. <laughs> 